How y'all doing today? This is your friendly IT guy in the neighborhood, Constantine, and I'm just showing you guys a quick peek of what I've accomplished today. Now, uh, uh, no credit really to me. I just follow the directions, the how-tos. I encourage everyone to use our great other friend, other than myself, of course, is uh, Google. You know, Google, follow your forums, you know, uh, RSS some of them websites, you know, show them support. These guys are countless hours coding and trying to make this work for everyone so that we get the best of the products that we pay for with our hard-earned money, rightfully so. All right, well, feature presentation that we've been looking at the screen here is going to be Plex. Plex is a Mac program, only runs on the Mac OS X platform, which is actually the uh, Mac OS X journaled and uh, it's, a, it's a great platform. I have Windows on my network, but I love my Mac. No viruses as of yet. Uh, threats, you know, every day, but uh, we're getting more popular with the world, so probably see some viruses come through, but that's not a big deal, because it's still a better platform, I believe, than Windows. All right, here's the big X. Uh, you're gonna see, just this is my screen uh, going through, and you always get that with a camera, but you got Plex there. And we're going to look at my servers. This is being streamed from my iMac 20 inch. It's a 2.16 uh, dual core processor. Uh, only 2 gigs of RAM in there. No, no big stuff. And uh, we're going to be looking at some 1080p movies. Okay. And this is coming from the box right here, which is my Apple TV. Now, one of the big reasons I got this was so that I can stream all the movies I wanted to it. You know, I didn't want to be just subjected to what Apple says I can download and view on my product because now it's no longer yours it's mine I'm not going to resell this I'm just gonna play what I want on it right alright so let's get into it uh, you have to have a jailbroken um, Apple TV which jailbreaking is now legal on your own product as of uh, the decisions made by the US Supreme Court you don't get much higher than that so who am I to say this is wrong all right, so uh, here's my library. Can't really see it. I got a crappy, just a digital camera recording on that. But it shows my library, which is pointing to my iMac. Then it shows different uh, options here. You know, uh, we'll play with those. You can go to Plex Online. Uh, you can actually install applications, different things like that. Like I have uh, some installed plugins. Uh, you know, I'm a real huge fan of CNET. Uh, if you guys can see that. It's uh, CNET and some other things. You can also put Flickr on here, um, which Flickr is already pre-installed out of the box on um, the Apple TV. But uh, let's get into our featured presentation, which is why we're really here and why, why I'm doing this. I need the movies. I want media centers only in my house, and I'd rather them small, uh, such as the Mac Mini, which I'm considering on buying. Turn that into a media center and also a TV PC. You know, and uh, there's been a lot of talks about internet to the TVs. If you have a PS3, you have an Apple TV, that's all you need. You're going to pay an extra $300, which I was considering for a TV that, what, what, what is it going to do? It's going to give you some subjective applications that you can, and then you have to wait for that company to download more. I don't think so. All right, let's look at the movies. Avatar. This is 1080p quality. Now it is going to be downgraded to 720p. Um, just have a couple of new movies that came out that I'm looking at. This is pointing to a folder on my server. Okay, my server is a Windows Home home server. Uh, that's the OS it's running. And I have it mapped to the iMac, which is Mac OS X. Mac and Windows can talk. They're actually pretty friendly with each other as long as you know how to map them out. And um, it's all network. It's really not platform. Okay, and then I pointed Plex to those map drives, and here we are. So 178 minutes. We're going to go ahead and start this feature presentation. Won't keep you guys too long here. This is a 1080i TV. It's a tube TV, one of the first two HD TVs before they went flat. And um, it's going to give me great quality. It's probably going to go into one of my daughter's rooms soon and uh, let them have it. So we'll see who's going to win that contest. And here we go. Now again, my crappy cam will not allow you to see the true quality behind this. But if you if you look at what I was seeing or what I am seeing, 
it's, it's great quality. Um, you know, you, you usually see some lines uh, when you get low pixel coverage, but this is great. Uh, for 720p, I think it's amazing for the type of TV I have. Uh, I don't even get this from iTunes. And on that subject, the reason I'm doing this, you say, why, well, why can't you just copy the movies into iTunes? iTunes doesn't accept formats such as .avi, .mkv, MKV being the 10, 1080p, uh, AVI being the standard, nowadays the standard compression used for movies that you, you, know, you download and you get. Um, so that's a big issue because all my movies are MKV or AVI. And here we go. I had high hopes that the community would come out with something that I can feed off of, such as the jailbreak that led me to Plex and that led me to enjoying my media. I'm not doing anything else with this but streaming movies. My music eventually is going in the living room. I'm going to get another Apple TV. I recommend anyone to get one. If you need help putting Plex on your Apple TV, once you get it, let me know. Please do not update your Apple TV before consulting with your friendly IT professional, Constantine. And we'll go ahead and work it out because uh, sometimes updates uh, beat the community. The community is not ready for the updates and then you just have to wait around. Even though the Apple TV by itself is pretty pretty neat, but most computers do what the Apple TV does anyway. Um, so again, this is the Avatar movie on the Apple TV in MKV format streaming via HDMI to TV from the Apple TV second generation must be noted and that's it I'm over now catch me on my Facebook page and uh, my YouTube page Constantine UMV YouTube forward slash Constantine UMV thank you